Is it live on? Oh, okay. It's on. All right. So what are we doing now, Tetra? We're going to make a go and see how big this motor is again. All right. We're going to make a go at it. I'm going to pretend like we know we're With doing the fancy new d dod No, I was going to measure it. Still using stick time. I'm going to use something expensive. <laughs> I got one of these. Oh, we got a big caliper. What, that in like the stick method? That's not the big one. Yeah, that ain't the big one. This is the intermediate one. This is the one you get when you can't afford the big one. Yeah, that is. That is. There's the big one. I think it does a big one. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the big one. That's probably... Yeah, yeah. How off is it? <laughs> well, this is the expensive one because it's carbide here. Yeah, I see it. And carbide there. Oh, yeah. So that means it's got extra digits on the end when you buy it. This one here appears to be at zero. Nice. It's more accurate than the last one. Now, before we put the stick in here and measure, but now we're going to use a caliper, which should be more accurate than the stick. In theory? Maybe. This looks like a Sportster one. It doesn't fit. I got the M8 one right there. No, it's, uh, well, it might be M8. It's a twin cam. Late twin cam. This must be the hard one over here that we use. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, it's still hard to turn over. Let's take the plugs out. It says the pistons are 10 over. It's pretty bad when it's making compression, the plugs are out. <laughs> okay, so. That's a lot of stroke. It's starting to go up. Hold that right there. Zero it. Zero it. I got the zero that time. Okay, how much more are we gonna gain? It's pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna go up the other way. It's breaking my, it's <laughs> bending my tool. <laughs> Why is it bending my tool as it comes up? Must be a dome on this thing. Yeah. Get the tool all the way up now. It's close to it. That's okay. four and a half. So we're only getting a four and a half instead of four and five eighths now. Which makes more sense. We were bending that damn thing. Which, I can see it. We were trying to break that off. Okay, so it's four and a half, not four and five eighths. So that's disappointing. All right, well. But it makes more sense because now it's a 113. Right. Okay, so now, down inside that hole in there, you said you had something you could read in there, right? Yeah. Boop. <clears throat> oh, now I gotta do this? This is my portion of this. Yeah, it's your, it's your deal. All right. We can't see it on my camera. So at my fancy four scope here. It says 10. Yeah, it says 10. Which one's farther down? That one? I can make this whatever you want. Yeah. Put, put it in there. I can't see it. I'm not will putting it in there. That's all it says. That's all you get. What yeah. else is in there? Nothing. The hole's not big enough for me to go in. Oh, okay, what about over here? Wait. Oh, because the valve's opening. That's why I dumbed down. Oh. You mean it's got the motor in it? It's got a uh, See, high, look, it's that's, got a a whole, that's a whole valve in oh, there. Oh, that's a valve. Well, it's got a new valve on it. Yeah. Look at that. It's a brand new valve. That is a brand new valve. So now we got, no, it's got new valves. It's got a new Timken in it, too. We know for sure. Okay, watch it. I'm going to pull it. Okay. But that's all that piston says. Okay, so now I can put a hole now, right? Yeah. Okay. But there's still not enough room for me to move around, so. 
But that's all that piston says is plus 10. Okay. Well, I'm not surprised. You don't usually put anything else on there besides what that is. Okay, what about this other one? That's a nice piston, though. It says the same thing, plus 10. Oh, this one's 10 also. Yeah, matching. How's the bore look? Do you see it off in the corner over there? A little bit. Okay, let me, uh, let's get the valve, let's get out of there. Let's get the valve out of the way. There's the exhaust valve, how's that look? Exhaust valve looks brand new. Oh, I died. You killed it. Yep. That's all we got? Yep, that was it. It's got a high lift valve there, look at that thing. Yeah, that thing, that, that, that thing comes up. It comes up, and it comes up fast. Okay, can we look in there now and see more? Or is that totally dead? Yeah, more than likely. That was it? That was all, all you had for battery? Let me see. I don't know. I, <clears> I, I, oh, no. It says the battery's fully charged. Okay, so see if we can see the cylinder bore. There, there we go. There you go. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty fresh in there. It's already got the vertical stretches in there from normal abuse. It looks like there's some cross hatch in there, unlike that last job you brought over here. <laughs> So it's, it's definitely all new in there. Oh, there you go. You can see the valve pocket and everything. Mm. Is that a dish? That's got a dish in that thing. That's a dish piston, isn't it? Looks like it. Hmm. I'll use a dish piston. Yeah. CCI, I guess. That's a dish. That's a nice piston, though. All right. So this, uh. A one something? It's got something. Well, it's a, it's got a four and a half kit in it, so it's going to be a four and a half and a four is a is a one thirteen motor, even though they make a one ten, not a one thirteen. This would be one thirteen. Yeah, this looks like a four by four. This does look like a no four, four by four is a hundred inch, which they also make, but the one ten, I think I don't know what the stroke is on the one ten, but if it's four by it's four and a half by four, that's a one thirteen, as I recall. We'll calculate them up here in a minute. Yeah, you can see the, the cylinders are pretty smooth, but they are they are new. It doesn't look like it's been run. No, it hasn't. Yeah, so it's all new. <clears throat> it's got new valves in it. You can see that, but you can see the valves by looking inside the ports too. So. Right. So. And we're assuming that it's got a new crank. It's definitely got new main bearings in it. Down on you know, we, right. when we put that seal in there. There's a new brand new Temkin set in there. What's in here? Air holes. I've never looked in here, so. Just spinning. Well, it's right here. Oh, that's where that goes. It's called air cooling. But yeah, these cylinders look really, really nice. Oh, there's a valve right here. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm open on that one. Yeah, big valve. It doesn't look bad. Cylinder doesn't look bad at all. No, I just see the scrapes from the rings are going up and down, but mm -hmm. it from just moving it. It hasn't been. Yeah, running. from just rotating it. Yeah. <clears throat> It still has assembly lube in here. You can see where the assembly lube is still yeah. on the side. Yeah. Well, that's good. This is a good it one. didn't have it didn't have spark plugs in it, but I put them in there. But, yeah. But it was all wrapped so. in a plastic, a torn up plastic bag was in it. So. Okay. So if we figure it's we figure it's got a four and a half stroke. So you take four times four times four point five times. 7854, the correction factor, times the number cylinder, 2 equals 11309. So this is a RevTech 113. Which they didn't make, they made a 110. So this is a 110. It's 113. Because it's got four and a half inch crank in it. Nobody oh. said this is the original crank for this motor. Yeah, nobody said that either, so yeah. So when they built this motor, they could put a four and a half crank in it with a with a four inch bore SNS piston in it or something. Yeah. Or some other piston, who knows? I don't know who the hell makes it. Whatever it is, it's but 10 It's over. a 113. So. It's a 10 over 113, which is going to, I don't count that as big and bigger. It's just, it's a 113 motor. I don't care if it's 100 over, it's still a 113. Right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> there we go. So we know what we got now. It's a 113 that we need to get rid of. Come by it. It's up on uh, Insta Turd, I think, right now, or Chopper Turd Swapper thing. I don't know. He's got posted on something. For 3200 bucks, it could be yours. Right. 
That's a deal. It'd be a deal for me. I can pay my bills. That's what we got to do. We got to pay bills. That would buy half of those pistons we need for your new motor. Yeah. From back. Yeah. See, we're halfway there. See? One cell of a motor. Yeah, there we go. We can right. use that case. Oh, yeah, there you go. We can use this case. Looks like a brand new uh, CCI oil pump, too. How's the transmission bolt to this thing? Two bolts. That's it? That's how they do it. It just sits on top? The transmission goes underneath and they bolt it to it. Oh. And then the oil things go that way. The oil lines now go if that you're way. Rigid, if you're a hard mounted frame, then this mounts in the frame, the tranny mounts back here. No real bike. But on your road turd thing, the, the tranny actually bolts the transmission with the two bolts here. Oh. That's why the primaries break so much because the primary is trying to hold the motor together. Um, Whereas your twin cams are trying to bolts the back of here with the four big bolts so right. tied together. You still break primaries, but for, that's because the chain tensions break or chains break or the alternator rotors come off because somebody forgot to tighten the bolt, you know, stuff like that. This bolt looks modified. Like this is one of those bolts that's... It's chrome plated. But it looks like it's shimmied in the middle. To I would recommend bolts. not trying to take that bolt out when the motor is together. I wouldn't either. It might cause some damage on cylinders, but yeah. I would assume so. And there's a valve up in there. Hook the light on. There we go. He's got monkey grease in there. <laughs> Bunch of white lithium crap grease. I hate. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. Well, this one's ready to be sold, so someone needs to. Someone needs this. Yeah. I don't need it. I'd rather have that shovel over there. It's almost as big. <laughs> almost. Probably faster. Uh, no. No, this would be faster. Heads flow better. Alright, there you go.